Hey guys, my name is Angit Bhari and welcome back to the channel. Now today I'll tell you how to create cinematic intro titles. So firstly, I'll tell you what are the fonts that I use. You know, I use it for thumbnails, for intro titles, for everything, for 99% of my videos. And then secondly, I'll tell you how you can try different things in Premiere Pro with the different transitions and effects that you can apply onto the titles make it look better and then at last i'll tell you one crazy effect that you can try out in after effects even if even if you don't know anything about after effects till now it's fine you'll be easily able to learn it because for me after effects is still difficult but i just use few things that i needed so that's what i'm going to teach you today so let's start it talking about fonts i use only six fonts for all of my videos so the first one is ariel and then roboto and then tw sen mt and then berlin sense fb demi and then brusher and then agent fb these are the only fonts i use now most of these fonts will be available in your premiere pro photoshop or after effects but if they are not available these are all still free you can just search on google just type this font name and search to download you will find a lot of websites where you can download it for free and then install it on your system and just restart Premiere Pro or After Effects, you'll be able to see those fonts. Now let's go to the Premiere Pro and I'll show you. So I recently posted one video on Maldives. In that video, how I created the title is firstly, let's go to File, let's go to New, Legacy Title, and then type in, let's say, Maldives. And then I'll select TW send empty. So this is the font I use. Now what I did is by default, its distance is zero, right? So what we will do is we'll set this to somewhere around 80. And we'll decrease this scale to let's say 60 or maybe 70 is fine too and then i'll just set the position to horizontal or maybe vertical and let's set this back to 70. this looks fine and i just clicked ok and then drag the title here now you will see that it's a very simple title nothing is there so first what we can do is let's apply cross dissolve using control D or you can search in the effect also cross dissolve and you can just drag it here so you'll get the same effect so it will start something like this and dissolve again now what we can do is we can change the blend mode from normal to maybe screen or maybe soft light let's try this so just go here and select from normal to maybe soft light or maybe overlay or maybe screen we can try out different things see it's gonna change it and then let's increase the size back to 100 and then select the bold yeah this looks good and then just do it position horizontal center and position vertical center now see it looks different right or maybe just select soft light this is the one i selected and then increase the size yeah this looks fine now see it looks different right it looks soft different and then you can change the opacity also see yeah that's all you can do now this is just the basics now you can uh, do masking as well so let me try masking so see this what i'll do is i'm just create a random mask that's it and I can create a mask path here. Now you will see that. See, let's go in the starting. Just remove this now, cross dissolve, cross dissolve. And you can change this, see? Just miss, just change the mask.
yeah that's it okay now let's go 10 step ahead using shift and right arrow key now just change this so basically what we are doing is we're trying to reveal it now see this and then after 20 steps you can reveal this completely and you can just create a mask feather so it will be softened and now see and you can also change the point so that it will be slow now let's play this see you guys and for this let's say we just start from here okay now see wow it looks amazing and you can also increase it further now let's see guys it looks amazing so that's how you can use the masking and let's go ahead and try another way so let's go ahead and search here crop in the effects panel and just drag it and see what we will do here we'll just create a key point hit that and just set this to 100 i mean set this to any value, any value which just removes it and just create a mask feather and then just go ahead one two three four steps ahead and then just reveal it yeah now see this and you can slow it down now see and you can also change the scaling with the time let me show you so for example here it's 125 let's create a key point here and as we go ahead just increase the scaling to let's say this much okay now see scale is also increasing so that's how you can try out with the different fonts and now let's go to the after effects and i'll show you one crazy effect it's very simple trust me it's very simple so first see this video this is what we're gonna create with the intro you also enjoyed the song which is from artlist and this is also the sponsor of this video so i have been using artlist for three years now you know when i started youtube this is the first music platform i started with and i have used for so many videos it has great collection of the songs you know the best thing i like about artlist is once you download the song you have lifetime access to use it for any of your videos and how i search the music on artlist i just go to the website and you know select different kind of filters for example my favorite filters are uplifting pop cinematics or electronics so i start listening to the songs one by one and if i like any song i just download it now once i download the song i go to that particular artist as well and i listen to all of his songs from his album and then i'm easily able to find similar kind of songs now artlist provide yearly based subscription so once you sign up you can download any number of the songs with lifetime access so just go to the link in the description and use my link to sign up and you'll get extra two months free and now let's go ahead and open up after effects and just create that effect just open up the after effects and this is the screen you will see don't worry even if you don't know anything about after effects still you're going to learn it okay just simply just go to the project panel here see project if somehow you are not able to see then go to the window let's say if you by mistake delete this close panel let's say do you do this and so you can go here and reset default to save layout so you'll get the same layout again now just go to the project here and just double click and open up and, and select any video on which you want to create the title for example this one i selected and just hit import now once you import the video just drag it 
down here so a new composition will be created and you will see your video you can just play that let's say this is my video you will see that it's all green and I would suggest one more thing here if it's set to full just set it to half or maybe quarter so that you'll be easily able to add it now once we have the composition just go here and see this tracker okay if you if not able to see let's say somehow this is closed you're not able to see tracker here so you will go to the window and select the tracker here and now you'll see okay just hit track camera that's it so basically what it will do is it'll take some time it will analyze and it will create different points on the video so that it will be able to track the camera movements now once we have track ready you will see a lot of different points and you can attach your text with that so it will just go with that movement so you will see like the text is already there at this position and the camera will move if you're not able to understand let's go here see this different points now it has already tracked see you're seeing that all these different points and you can just scale in as well see if you're not able to see and as I am dragging as I'm just rolling a mouse over here you will see that it's creating a plane so what we have to do is we have to just select any three points and create a plane okay for example let me select this okay just click this and you will see something like this and then right click and create text and camera so you will see your text here now let me just play see it feels like the text is already there now let me just rename this so click this double click and you can then rename for example let me type monsoon and you can change the font from here I mean this looks fine to me you can scale it as well now, this looks fine now let's see whoa now what you can do is you can try to change the X Y or Z axis see you are able to see all these plane now let me just select this selection tool and after that you can change it see or just select this green plane or maybe select this see if you feel this looks difficult you can go here in the text and go to the transform and there you can see this orientation you can change orientation from here as well see for example this is what I'm selecting okay see this I just change the z-axis I just change the y-axis now see whoa <laughs> this looks amazing and you can change the scale as well you can change the position as well see you can try basically different things now let's see so that's how you can create an amazing effect on the title now let's export this so that you will know also how to export go to the composition go to add to adobe media encoder queue just hit this and a new software will open up and then you will see here your video is here okay and you can change the settings click this and you will see this premiere pro export just use any name just select it different things and just hit ok and start this see the screen button start queue now it will simply export your video once this is done you can double click this see this is our video now let me play this for you this is our simple video 
so that's how you can create it i hope you learned something out of it and if you did then hit a like button and subscribe to the channel for future videos let me know in the comments below if you want me to cover any other topic and sign up on art list just go to the link in the description you will get extra two free months and you will find a lot of amazing songs for your videos and with that said guys i'll see you next time till then take care bye bye thanyavad